the Valley of the Sun is unique because of our climate. Animals can pretty much breed year round and so we're always busy. We are the second largest city for pet homelessness in the nation after Los Angeles. We were adopting out about 100 animals a day and killing about 100 animals a day, and so that equation has to be changed. We had talked for a long time as a group of how we were going to proceed into the future. However, it didn't really coalesce until we had some really fantastic folks from PetSmart Charities that came in and served as facilitators and helped us to all get on the same page. Each group kind of identified where their strengths were and what they could do as part of the initiative. Our program is solely for people that, that have pets that haven't been altered, um, going out and talking to them about the importance of spay and neuter and then being able to offer them that service at no cost. By far, the most common breeds that we have here in the valley are pit bulls and chihuahuas. Um, they are rampant. So that's why the Fix It Up Save campaign is important because we are targeting those specific parts of town where we're seeing a lot of chihuahuas coming from or we're seeing a lot of pit bulls. So our success with free roaming cats and TNR has really been in an area that, that we call our focused area. It's a group of zip codes in which we're um, targeting resources. It's an area where we have high intake of cats and in that targeted area we have seen a decrease in the number of cats that are coming into our shelter. Because we do have a medical clinic and two full-time vets, we uh, accepted the challenge of taking on more treatable dogs. And these might be dogs that would otherwise be euthanized because they needed some kind of special medical care. One of the big places that we play a very significant role in Fix It Up Save is through our behavior team. The dogs may have physical injuries, but they also have emotional scars. Our behavior team works with them one-on-one, -on -one, can teach them manners, can teach them how to get along with other dogs and other people, and make them much more adoptable. We also took on the task of accepting more underage kittens. We actually put about 1,700 animals a year through our foster program. Because of the community collaboration with the other agencies on Fix It Up Save, we're partnering with these other groups. Many of their rescue partners actually come in and take animals from us. Being a responsible pet owner is important. We want to encourage people to adopt from a shelter. If you maybe have too many animals, consider fostering. So what Fix It Up Save has done for us is it's, it's provided a framework for collaboration. We now have the major organizations in the Valley working together, leveraging the resources that each organization brings. And then of course, uh, with our funders, that has made a big difference. The euthanasia rate dropped 14% in the first year. So that's a terrific accomplishment. We just were thrilled that we succeeded far beyond our expectations in the first year. In the end, our common goal is to help the animals, and so whatever that takes, we want to try and do that.